everyone, Willow is here and welcome back to The Long Dark. Uh, I have been doing some thinking. A dangerous pastime, I know. But since the last episode, I've been thinking about um, strategy for this game going forward. And I know in the last episode I said that... Uh, we needed to go and look for that wolf that we shot with the arrow. Um, but I think, you know, sometimes you have to weigh your options and decide whether something is really the best course of action, even if it means that you're going to lose a resource that you may need. I think probably we should consider that arrow kind of a lost cause. Just because we have so much meat right now. And some of it is going to be going bad soon. And uh, we really need to get it going. Get it cooking. So I think what we're going to do instead is... Let's come out here and check the conditions, check to see. I don't know if the uh, camp office wolf will have respawned by now or not. We'll just take a quick look out here. But I think what we should probably be doing is um, gathering up some wood. Just looking around. Don't want him sneaking up on me. I think we just need to come over here and get some wood. Get a fire going because we really do need to get started on uh, our plans for our trip out to Desolation Point. And the reason for that is because we've kind of been in a vicious cycle in the last several episodes where we shoot a wolf. I'm going to get these crow feathers. But we shoot a wolf and go out looking for him. Any wolves out there? No. Nope. Uh, so we go out looking for him, and in the process we attract another wolf, and we end up shooting him, and then I have to go looking for him, and it's been just kind of like a, a vicious cycle where it's n really not sustainable going forward, because every time that we do that, we are damaging our arrows, and we only have... Oh gosh, how many do we have now? Let's check. Um, we're going to drop all this wood here. But we have, there's this broken arrow that we can harvest. So that will be another one that we can make. But we have two arrows. We have two arrows. And, uh... Well, we need more than that. We're going to need more than that. Um, and we, we need more ammunition. We need more everything. <laughs> need more everything. I'm going to go out here and get some more wood probably. So, um, the way I usually take down wolves is I, I just, uh, I fight them and then... Gotta be cautious. If we have to fight the camp office, well, if he's respawned and we have to fight him, that's fine, but... Um, so, yeah, I, I fight the wolves, and that's actually a lot more sustainable than bow hunting or hunting with a rifle, just because we're going to run out of uh, ammunition for our rifle eventually. Um, we're low right now, but we'll find 
more. I'm not worried about that, but, um, and then the, uh, the arrows, you know, they'll last us for a, a pretty long time, but, um, every time that we shoot them, we're damaging them. So, and, and these saplings that we are harvesting to, um, get the arrow shafts and, um, and to make the bows there, they don't come back. So what we have is what we have. What, what spawned in the world is all that we're going to get. So, um, you know, we, we need to be conscientious of our resources so that we can uh, last as long as possible. But, you know, we, we can live, you know, with just a knife and a hatchet if need be. We can live off of rabbits. Um, but it's not, it's not a fun existence. It's very tedious. I think I'll break these down. But yeah, it's a, it's a very tedious existence. It's, and it doesn't make for, um, at least I don't think it makes for very good viewing. I think this is fur maybe? Yeah. So, um, I think probably what we'll end up doing, if we get to that point, um, uh, I'm just gonna call it <laughs> there. Call the series there. Actually, I think my goal for this series is a hundred days. I think a hundred days. And then at that point, when we reach that point, if we reach that point, um, maybe we'll reevaluate. And if it's still, if it's still uh, entertaining, if it's still, we still got some exciting things going on, then um, I think we'll we'll keep with it. We'll stick with it. Uh, I'll we'll we'll know more once we um, get closer to that time but if we have by then already um, looted all the different <laughs> maps and usually where I end up staying at the end is at the uh, the old uh, farmhouse in uh, Pleasant Valley and I just kind of live out the rest of my days at that location and just see how long I can subsist on what uh, resources I have left. But um, if, if we have gotten to that point by 100 days, then it's not a very exciting existence. Although you do... Uh, do end up um, hunting bears right out <laughs> off of your outside your back door that can be kind of exciting sometimes but um, if we're just doing the same things over and over and over again then uh, I don't know we'll just have to evaluate but anyhow just wanted to let you guys know where my thoughts were headed and to see what you guys thought of that um, because I'm really having fun. I'm having fun making these videos. I didn't know didn't know what to expect going in, but um, I'm really really enjoying my time with you guys. This has been fun, and and it it will continue to be fun. We're not we're not anywhere close to a hundred days yet, so no worries there. <laughs> A lot can happen in 75 days in this game, so. Did I, 
Or did I not just harvest that? Okay, I'm not... I know I'm not imagining things because <laughs> I see my footprints over here. Did it just respawn itself? Is this a glitch? Is Huh. So it doesn't look like I can harvest it again. Interesting. So is it just there for decoration now? Okay, well, all right. <laughs> I think we have enough wood now that we can uh, make a big fire, cook a lot of meat. I think we'll probably end up doing another another sleep cycle. That was my. That was kind of kind of my plan. We're gonna do a. Uh, We'll do a sleep cycle, another sleep cycle, and uh, then my thoughts for the uh, next, or this video, next video, I'm thinking we'll probably want to, um, I'll just hold on to those, uh, we'll probably want to, oh, how much weight are we carrying? Still carrying a lot of weight. Let's go ahead and drop them, I guess. Uh, probably want to do the... Um, that's better. Do the sleep cycle and then uh, go to the... We're going to have to be like ninjas here. We will... Uh, have to go by that derailment and kind of stealthily, hopefully. Um, nope, wrong drawer. Wrong drawer. But we'll have to go and check that um, for that box of ammunition that I think might be over there. But. I want to do it so that we are not um, attracting much attention from our wolf friends over at the derailment. They are very um, territorial, not fond of strangers. So. I'm going to add that ruined torch. Why not? We are going to want to make some more torches also. Grab all this stuff. Mm -mm. Toss a bunch of this in the fire. So I think what we'll do is stop by the prepper cache. This is my plan anyhow. Sneak past the um, derailment. Oh, oh, we'll, we'll get a good laugh at how badly this turns out, I'm sure, but... <laughs> We will, uh, if there are, if there's a box of ammunition at the derailment, go get the ammo, go, uh, sneak over to the prepper cache and grab some food lightweight food not the cans or anything but just the 
light food that we can carry on our trip to Desolation Point. Because we're not going to be stopping. Um, well, we may have to stop for one night. I don't know. We'll have to see how things go. But um, I, I want to um, head to the dam. Take care of Fluffy. <laughs> and then uh, go and... Uh, Raid the rest of the dam. There were some uh, lockers in there that we couldn't open the first night because uh, we didn't have a pry bar yet. So we shall go raid the rest of the dam and probably stay there overnight and. Uh, We'll harvest the meat off of Fluffy and we'll take that with us when we go through the ravine into uh, Coastal Highway. We may stop and stay the night at the trailer up at the top of the hill on Coastal Highway, but then I want to um, head through coastal without stopping anywhere. We will go ahead and uh, search coastal on the way back. We'll, we'll definitely take our time, but you know, if we're going to be going to Desolation Point, I it will be the one and only time I think that we will be visiting that location because <laughs> I sort of detest it quite a bit actually so um, let's see let's go ahead and uh, we'll add some more sticks let's grab some more some more stuff more firewood Because I also want to get out um, as many torches as I can. Ah, uh, because that's another reason why I, I have not told you yet. <laughs> so my plan... My plan is... Uh, we are going to be going to... Uh, <laughs> Coastal Highway, through Coastal Highway and to Desolation Point, but we will not be bringing our rifle, and we will not be bringing a bow. <laughs> uh, you may think that sounds insane. It is. <laughs> oh, we need to drink. Let's go ahead and... Drink some water. Eat some food. Get our calories back up, but yeah, so the reason why. I don't plan on bringing any weapons is because we need to have as much space in our backpack as much empty space as possible because when we um, get to desolation point we will be picking up a bow there there is a bow that spawns at um, Katie's secluded corner I think that's what it's called. Um, so yeah, we, we'll be picking that one up and then we'll also be getting the rifle from a special location there that we shall 
see where we have to, uh, yeah, take care of uh, another little fluffy friend. <laughs> I'm going to meet and greet with a fluffy friend and with an arrow to the face, I think. <laughs> we'll take more torches. So yeah, I want to have as many torches as possible. Take as many flares as possible. Hopefully not enough to really weigh us down, but we'll probably be using some of them along the way, so that will help lighten the load. But also when we go through the mine to get to um, Desolation Point, we'll be picking up... Um, some coal. We will be gathering coal and bringing that with us to the Riken, the ship where, or the boat. I don't know, what is it? Is it a ship or is it a boat? My husband would <laughs> not like to hear me say that. He's, I think maybe it's a guy thing. He's got a boat. You don't dare call it the wrong thing. <laughs> Anyhow. Okay. How many torches do we have now? We should have plenty, I think. Um, one, two. Thirteen here, and then I think... Do we have any others? It doesn't matter that that's... That should be plenty. That should be plenty. So, all right. Oh, we're really way down again. Of course. I'm going to sleep over in this bed this time. But... And... Okay, guess we'll keep that on us then. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and drink some water, or Accurize is going to drink some water, and then sleep. Mm, five hours of darkness left, but he's pretty drained, so... Uh, let's go nine hours. All right. Eat some food. Some more food. Drink some more. I forgot. I think maybe. Do we have some? Uh... Yeah, we need to. We need to drop that. <laughs> that should be curing. Where's the other ones? These are probably cured. Yeah, those are cured. So we'll just. Drop this one with them. And do we have another one somewhere? Like maybe downstairs? Thought we had four. Thought we had four pelts. Four rabbit skins. I don't know. We'll see. Drop and. Oh, come over here. How much of this is cured? Quite a bit of it. All right, let's back up a little bit and... <coughs> Excuse me. Drop, drop. Anything else that needs to be cured? No. No. 
It's fine. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, just a little bit more water just to top it off. And I think we'll go ahead and sleep again. Now we do want to also probably tomorrow well tomorrow in the game when when he sleeps through the night and wakes up again probably want to uh take a look at our clothes probably should have taken them off before we slept but I want to make sure that everything is um as good a condition as we can possibly get it before we head out the door. So, so when our daylight left, we'll just go ahead and sleep for 10 hours and All right. I'll drink a little bit. <sighs> Very refreshing. Um, where'd you go? There you are. Want that one. Go ahead and take a look at. We don't need those gloves. Let's go ahead and harvest those. <laughs> Our coat's still at 100%. Our deerskin pants are still at 98, so that's good. Let's do this by condition. Our scarf has seen better days. Let's go ahead and repair that. And when we go, we're going to have to uh, do a lot of inventory management before we head out for Desolation Point, but that's not going to be in this episode. It'll probably be in the next... Well, it, we won't be heading to Desolation Point in the next one, but we'll be probably headed towards the dam in the next episode. And, oh, we need to go and grab some more cloth. So I'll get my lantern out so you guys can see. I think it's probably still pretty dark in here for you. I think that's downstairs. But, uh, yeah, on the way back... We will be taking our time going through, um, no, not there, let's see, maybe in the, did I put it upstairs, maybe I put it upstairs, would it be in this one, would it be in the next one, nope, but there's that rabbit skin, nope. Must be upstairs. Do, 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 do. I hope that's not one of the things that I left over in the. I know I left some stuff. There it is. I'll just transfer all for right now and then put back whatever I don't need. But, um, oh, I'm going to get out the. Uh, Maybe another one of those. Um, I don't know why I'm moving over here to do this, but <laughs> um, oh no, I actually want to be over by the meat. Let's go by the meat. I 
God, I just totally lost track of what I was saying. But, oh, I know. I left a bunch of stuff in the, uh, the drawer at the, um, Trapper's Homestead at the, in the workbench drawer. I, I forgot a bunch of stuff over there, so we have a bunch of, uh, I think, crow feathers maybe, and, uh, what else? cloth, maybe some rose hips, mushrooms. I can't remember what all I left in there. But we will have to remember that if we ever run low on that stuff. So I think this is going to be the last of our sewing kit. It's probably going to break after this. Yeah, it did. So we still, we have others, so no big deal. But let's uh, not harvest, not harvest. Nope, nope, nope. Repair. All right. Um, the boots. Want to get those up to a hundred percent. All right, so all of our stuff except for our deerskin pants, they're at 98%. Uh, I don't know if I want to waste a deer hide for just 2%. Cloth is one thing, deer hide is different. <laughs> I know we have extras now, but I really, it's, it's a commodity. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna leave most of our stuff on, but uh, oh, we're running out of space here. Well, actually, yeah, let's do this. We'll just stick our um, I think I think we'll be okay. Let's check to see what our temperature is. It's at zero, but if we're sleeping, we should be fine. Should be. Let's see. Oh, we take out our boots and our pants. We'll just stick all of our clothes together in one spot while we're sleeping. So, all right. Eat a little bit more. Drink a little bit, and this might actually be a good time to do some of that inventory management. Um, we have to think really critically about the stuff that we want to take and what we want to leave behind. These water purification tablets, they are close to um, expiring, but I hardly ever use those in my game, so. Oh, we have an extra knife. Let's, uh, Let's head downstairs. We might as well get this done now so that when we're ready to head out probably in the next episode, then uh, we don't have to do this at that time. Let's see. I think I will leave most of my wood matches. We have 20 cardboard matches. I don't know how many matches we're going to need. We're going to take one fire striker and a magnifying lens with us, so that should be fine. Let's see. Won't be able to fit that other knife in there. 
And I am not going to, yeah, so we have, let's see. I'm going to take all of the fishing tackle just because it is light. We're not going to take any, um, those can get kind of heavy too. We're not going to take any uh, sewing kits with us, but, um, probably also not going to take any cloth or cured leather if we need that stuff. I'm sure there's stuff in those other locations that we can break down. Um, but let's see. I don't even know if we need to take a can opener with us. We're not going to be opening any cans. And we do have a knife if we need it. So let's just leave as of, you know, there comes a point in time where you don't really even need a can opener after you've pretty much harvested everything from all the maps, but I know there are a couple maps, actually three of the maps left that we haven't uh, gone through yet. We're going to take our rifle to the dam and leave it there after we take care of that fluffy situation. <laughs> we have a snare here. We have a lot of torches, but we're going through a kind of dangerous area. I'm, I may leave some of those torches behind. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know if we're going to take any of this. If we'll take the arrowheads or the stuff to make arrows, I think we'll probably end up making them. Um, yeah, I might as well bring the, the arrowheads and the feathers just because we're, if we're going to be in a uh, coastal highway for a while, we'll probably be spending a lot of time at the Quonset and there is a, uh, a workbench there. So let's see. Let's come over here to the workbench and we have no bandages. Really? We have no bandages? Well, let's take care of that, shall we? <laughs> that could have been dangerous. I did not realize. All right. Yeah, we have no bandages. Okay, that's fine. Let's make some up real quick. Good thing we checked on this stuff before we left. <laughs> we'll be heading into a, a coastal highway. There's going to be, I call it the land of milk and honey because there is so much stuff there. <laughs> that we're, we're not going to be hurting for um, cloth when we get there. There's a lot of stuff to break down, so not worried about that in the least. All right. Is there anything else that we need to make for our trip? I'm not going to worry about the rabbit skin mitts until we get back. I don't really even usually bother with those at all, but we have enough skins for it, then we might as well. So we just need the arrow shaft, and we can make... Whoops. I meant to get the drawer. Here we go. Actually, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, transfer all of them, transfer all of those cured maple sapling. We have two cured maple saplings to make two more bows, but um, I'm gonna put that one in the drawer here too. Just because we're going to have, we have the bow that we made and then we're going to have the bow that we pick up at the, um, 
a desolation point. Let's see, I'm just going to go ahead and put this all this cloth in there. We won't bring any, uh, we'll, we'll take one uh, cedar firewood with us. We'll be able to pick up sticks along the way. We'll leave a bunch of the um, things like the tinder plugs here. We'll take just a couple with us. But let's see. Put all the harvestables in there. This is the really hard part for me, figuring out <laughs> what to leave and what to take. Because um, I'm a Boy Scout mom. Their motto is be prepared. And so I am always worried about <laughs> leaving stuff. Drop all those. We'll drop. Drop all those and we'll take, we'll take five tinder plugs with us. Um, in terms of, okay, so the bow, our bow is at 90%. Let's, uh, Let's see. Bring our sewing kits away. And I know this is like a lot of back and forth here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, put our bow down there. Try to think very critically of this stuff that we need to take on on a hatchet and a knife. We'll be leaving this rifle. We've got seven rounds. So, and that's the rifle is four kilograms, so that would put us down to 20. Plus our clothes, it's still not enough. We may end up leaving a bunch of these torches. I just like to have a bunch of torches, but we can always make them, I guess. We can always make more if we need them. And we'll put all of these to use eventually, so. All right. One. We're still over. Our clothes weigh a lot. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? <laughs> what do I not need to take with me? I'll probably leave the magnifying lens. I mean, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but everything adds up. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the fire striker. Um, leave one more torch. This is almost one kilogram of weight, the arrow shafts, but I do want to be able to make arrows once we get over there, so... And I'm going to need the pry bar. Oh, this is tough, guys. And we're probably running long while I'm doing this, but. Hmm. 
I'm wondering, okay. This may seem crazy. Because it seems crazy to me, but... We find a lot of antiseptic everywhere that we go usually, so... I'll leave that. We're going to leave the water purification tablets. I'm going to need painkillers if we have to fight a wolf. And the antibiotics don't weigh a whole lot, but... I'll leave a few more behind. <sighs> what else could I possibly leave? Other than, we'll be getting rid of some of this water. All right, I know, I know this is running long and you guys are probably like, okay, enough already, but I just know that we're going to have to transport a lot of stuff from the mines to the ship and it's or the boat whatever it's i don't know what it is you'll have to let me know but <laughs> um it's going to take several trips probably and there's going to be a, some wolves along the way i'm sure and i'm just trying to minimize um our <laughs> chances of getting hurt <laughs> and dying along the way but I'm gonna go ahead and or Accurize is gonna go ahead and eat and hop into bed again and I think we'll call it an episode here so not much happening but we're we're getting ready we're getting prepared so let's see how much five hours of daylight left okay I'll just go ahead and Sleep for 10 and call it now. So hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Maybe we'll be going to the dam. Who knows? All right. Bye-bye.